All right, what's going on, guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today, leading up to the tenth episode for the Walking Dead season ten. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts on the episode titles for the rest of the episodes of this season. All right, sweet. So I will put all of the episode titles in the description for you guys, as well as some of these synopses for these. Um, I guess we have most of them, except for the last two episodes. And I really like these episode title names. Some of them are really good and uh, really uh, promising. So we'll go through that for the next few episodes of the descriptions and all of the titles. Then we'll get into some of your guys' Q&A questions afterwards. So as we know, this upcoming episode, episode 10, is called Stalker, where we have uh, Beta, who I guess uh, invades uh, Alexandria, which uh, is going to be awesome. I think the early reviews, i.e. Forbes, um, the reviews uh, said that uh, episode 10 is better than the mid-season uh, premiere, the cave episode, so the episode we just saw. So this episode coming up this weekend, according to, you know, I guess unbiased reviews, uh, apparently is even more exciting than uh, episode 9. So we'll see if that's true, right? Because it's in a couple days now. Uh, well, for premiere, even sooner if you have it. Um, so looking forward to that one. So we knew that one already. Episode 11 is called Morning Star, and it says... With the whispers coming for Hilltop, the communities must decide whether to run or fight. And as we kind of know from the trailers, it looks like they're going to fight. So uh, it should be exciting. Uh, you know, the big battle coming up at the Hilltop. You've got the whispers with their uh, flaming uh, arrows that they're going to be firing. You know, fire. And, and I think you know, Daryl's there too, right? He's like swinging some kind of weapon. And you have Aaron and the others looking like they're ready to, uh, to deal with... Uh, the uh, whispers and their oncoming uh, probably somewhat of a smaller zombie herd because one good thing that Carol did do is she took out the uh, the portion of Alpha's herd that was in the cave, right? Which we don't know exactly um, how many that was, but we get the impression that they were uh, buried alive or they were kind of crushed underneath that. Uh, hopefully Connie and Magna weren't. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see for that, uh, you know, um, if they both end up getting out alive, I, I'm pretty much certain they're not going to kill both of them off uh, at the same time, right? So that's that one. So Morning Star. So that's what we got for episode 11. Now episode 12, which I think was rumored to be Michonne's last episode, doesn't seem like it is. Maybe that's episode 13, What We Become. So episode 12 is called Walk With Us, and it has, uh, with Negan's help, Alpha and the Whispers attack Hilltop. So it looks like um, Negan is uh, has totally. Well, I guess he was never really a survivor, was he? You know, he kind of uh, he came back uh, after seeing that the uh, the sanctuary was uh, empty. Which I love that episode where he goes, he escapes, and he goes back to the sanctuary and finds that there's really nothing there for him and there's probably nothing out there for him almost at all. And then he goes back and then they continue to kind of treat him the same way as they were and everything. And so he escapes again and this time joins up with the Whispers. Um, and it sounds like he's going to be helping Alpha make some decisions here. So walk with us. So walk with the dead, walk with us. They're walking with the walkers, and Negan gets his smiley uh, whisper mask probably. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And... Um, it looks like he's basically all in <laughs> with uh, with for the whispers, right? He's he's all in, balls deep now <laughs> for the whispers. So uh, I mean, after that happens, you know, uh, the the hosp the whisper hospitality is not too bad for Negan, right? It's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> episode thirteen is called "What We Become," uh, and it says Michonne takes Virgil back to his island and or to his family in exchange. Virgil offers weapons. So, okay, so episode 12, the, the battle at the hilltop, or at least most of it. And um, so that's going to be an exciting one. Episode 12, looking forward to seeing that. It's kind of like the Whisper of War episode. Uh, I think they're just kind of trying to uh, avoid any kind of, um, you know, uh, selling of the idea or promotion of the idea that we're seeing the Whisper of War this half or this season. Because I think All Out War with season 8 was kind of so poorly received they probably don't want to you know refer to this part as whisper war uh, even though it is the whisper war that we're seeing you know adapted here soon um you know they just uh you know it, it's smart right it makes sense because season eight is not a favorite of uh, most people so um but 
episode 12, we're going to see Whisper of War. So that's going to be really great uh, at the hilltop anyway. So 13, probably Michonne's last episode, but maybe not. Maybe we'll see more with Michonne afterwards. I'm, I'm not sure, okay? Because we got some interesting titles coming up here for the finale episode, and we'll get into that after. But um, what we become, so that's also a comic book uh, name. Uh, there's, uh, uh, is it a, yeah, I think it's a, a volume, a, a story, a, a six-issue story arc, What We Become. And in the comic version, it was where Rick bites the person on, on the neck who's attacking Carl and, and the others. So in the TV series, that was Joe of the Claimers, so they chose what we become as uh, as an episode name here. Uh, will it be something similar to where Michonne gets uh, jumped or something like this, uh, caught off guard, and uh, or Virgil is a backstabber and he set her up here and then there's nothing there and then he I don't know attacks her or something like this. Um, you know we'll, we'll see what they do with that or maybe he does find his family but something else happens. Uh, we know there are the scenes of. Michonne where she has Lucille somehow how does that fit in with her leaving uh with Virgil does she leave and then come back or something is she in more than one episode like how does this how is this whole thing going to go down uh maybe she is in more than one episode because episode 13 was not rumored to be her last episode uh so far as I know so maybe the rumors were wrong and that's good if they were you know keep us on our toes so we're not sure but uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your uh, predictions below. What we become, possibly Michonne's last episode, or at least that's Michonne's episode with Virgil, probably focused and spotlighting just that. And then we'll see if that's her final, you know, it, or if she's coming back later. And then maybe the finale episode or something will be Michonne's final episode. Let's see here. So that's 13. So we still have three left. So we have after that, after Michonne's episode, uh, 14 is called Look at the Flowers. So it says... Everyone reckons with the aftermath of uh, the hilltop fire. Eugene leads a trip to meet Stephanie. So you have Eugene who is putting together maybe a group to go meet Stephanie, who he's been talking to on the radio for a while now. And maybe they get an opportunity here after the, the Battle of the Hilltop. Maybe they assume the battle is won. And so Eugene decides, okay, we can do this now. And he wants to go do it right away. And the aftermath of the Hilltop fire, uh, Hilltop may be destroyed from the fire, maybe just just broken down after the, uh, the Whisper of War. Um, I love the title. Look at the flowers. Uh, great for Carol. Um, so... Does that mean that in episode 14, we will see the demise of Alpha? Does that mean that Kara will uh, get her vengeance that she's uh, so desperately wanted, right? Because Alpha kind of keeps besting her at every turn. So uh, maybe maybe now she'll get her chance and uh, maybe she'll take it and maybe she'll succeed. So uh, Carol versus Alpha, you know, it just, for me, you know, I, I can't really see right now Alpha being killed any other way. If Negan's not going to do it, then uh, Carol is like, who else could do it but Carol, unless Lydia comes back in the picture or something, I don't know. Um, but that's Look at the Flowers, episode 14, so I like that one. Episode 15 is called The Tower. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so I've got some of the trades here. I've got uh, A Certain Doom, which is the title of the finale episode. 16 is called A Certain Doom, okay? And 15 is called The Tower. And in 15, um, referring to, so there's the, is it a water tower, I believe? in the background and basically in the comic version this isn't spoilers for the show because it's likely going to be different in the uh so here's the tower in the comics so there's the water tower and uh, you have i think it's uh yes it's uh it's gabriel who's up on the tower and he basically falls and uh gets kind of caught upside down and then he just gets smoked by uh on the ladder so he's kind of hanging upside down the ladder and he gets basically eaten uh eaten alive and uh oh man it's a, it's a pretty brutal demise for him in the comic version so the tv series version likely being somewhat different i highly doubt they will adapt that just the same way but um you know we have seen for a while now there is i believe a water tower in the uh in the background somewhere near alexandria so someone on watch there probably and realizes that uh, after, maybe they assumed that after the Battle of the, uh, the Hilltop that the Whispers were defeated, and maybe they weren't, and so they're heading towards Alexandria with a huge herd, and the person on the water tower, uh, you know, freaks out, falls down, and gets devoured. Who will it be in the TV series? 
I don't know, man. Leave your comments below. It can't be just Gabriel, could it? Because then that'd be too obvious, right? Kang's not going to do that. It's got to be. It's got to be smarter than that, right? It's got to be some kind of. There's got to be some kind of something. Something to it, right? It can't be just Gabriel. So that's that's what I'm thinking. But let me know what you guys think about that one. And um, so a certain doom. So that's this volume right here, which is uh, is a great one in the comics series version. This is the final um, uh, volume for Andrea. Uh, who is Rick's love interest in the comics. And I think it is the saddest volume uh, that The Walking Dead has. Uh, I think it is the saddest. Uh, just to see the love of Rick's life uh, to die like that is uh, is really brutal. It's very sad. And uh, he has to put her down as a walker. Here's Walker, Andrea. And uh, Rick puts her down. Uh, again, if you've never read the comics, she doesn't sleep with the governor. She doesn't sleep with Shane. Um, and she just hooks up with Rick, and, and that's it. So it's <laughs> so it's okay. So it's not the same as what they did with her in the TV series. Not that the actress had anything to do with that. You know, they, she's just doing what she's supposed to do, and that's the way they went with the story. So that's fine. So uh, when I read that title, I was thinking, okay, Rick's love interest dies in a certain doom in the comics. The TV series version, Rick's love interest is Michonne. So does that mean that we will see Michonne's death by the end of the season? Based on the titles, you could go that way, but um, you know, I really hope we don't, and I hope we see the return of Maggie, we see them saved, that whole thing, and uh, we don't see uh, uh, Michonne be killed off. But it's possible that maybe she's totally, you know, um, uh, moving on from Walking Dead entirely. And if she is, meaning she won't be doing the movie, she won't be doing anything else. If that's true, that maybe a certain doom will be Michonne's uh, final episode. Maybe we'll see Michonne be killed off trying to save Alexandria. In a certain doom, because if she does return back, and uh, you know uh, her kids are there, and she could freak out, and she could do anything to protect her kids, put herself in harm's way. Maybe she gets bitten as a result of that, and then we see the death of Michonne by the end of the season. So leave your comments below with that one too, and let me know what you guys think for uh, for that. Wow, yeah. So excited, excited to hear your guys' thoughts on a certain doom. Will that be Michonne's certain doom? So. Uh, we did also get a comment or a reaction from Jeffrey Dean Morgan's wife about the uh, sex scene uh, with uh, with Alpha, so The Walking Dead. Hillary Burton Morgan reacts to uh, husband Jeffrey Dean Morgan's sex scene. And uh, so this is what she said. She said, uh, <laughs> I have to read this. Uh, Old daddy has a way of looking at a gal and it is cute. Uh, only you could have made that situation kind of hot at Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Uh, and then, ha, 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 prepping my own zombie flesh mask now, hashtag Negan's wife. So that's kind of awesome. So I thought I would include that. I don't know why. I just think it's fun. And uh, see, there you go. The ladies love JDM. What were you guys talking about the live stream? People in the live stream were like, oh, it's dad bought something. So what are you talking about? The ladies love JDM. Are you kidding me? So it sounds like, it sounds like she approves of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of what Negan was doing. So a few questions for today to kind of round things out here. Uh, the uh, the Michonne thing did come from this one as we were discussing there earlier, and, and I certainly thought of it with a certain doom. So uh, Alicia of the Dead said, uh, Trev, I've got a question about Michonne. Do you think Deny uh, should have agreed to be in at least one of the Wick, one of the Walking Dead Rick movies? And if she didn't, uh, do you think that uh, they would kill her off? So the question is basically, do we think that and especially with the title being a certain doom here, do we think that maybe Michonne or maybe Denai decided that she doesn't really want to do the movies? Uh, she's done the Avengers movies. She's, uh, you know, she's got HBO Max. If you guys don't know, she's going to be a showrunner for an HBO Max series uh, coming up pretty soon that she's going to be doing. And who knows what will happen with that? If it gets renewed for a second season or whatever, then she could showrun that for years. Usually. For, for, for you guys to understand this, usually show running is not like a um, uh, like a part time job or like, um, you know, something that you could just do and then be done with for a while. Uh, at least for most series, I would think my understanding from reading interviews over the years is that show running is like, you know, being a business manager, managing a business, managing the product, managing the creative and everything. So you're kind of the head honcho for that series. So if Denai is going to be show running her own show, uh, I fail to see how she would be able to work that in with also having an appearance in uh, the Rick movies. Uh, but at the same time, um, 
at the same time, she is a pretty hard worker and stuff, so she was doing Michonne earlier and then the Avengers movies at the same time. So maybe she's such a hard worker she could pull it off, but um, how do you guys think that that negotiation would have gone down? And uh, based on the titles here, do you think this is it for Michonne? So if she didn't agree to be in one of the Walking Dead movies, then yeah, they probably would kill her off. I mean, what else are you going to do? You can't have everyone leave in a helicopter, and you can't have everyone just leave for good. And her counterpart in the comics, which is Andrea, does die around this time. So where are you guys at with that? What do you think? You know, uh, I, I can't wait to see your, um, your, your comments below, but maybe, maybe that's what they're doing. I guess I'm just an optimist, and I'm just sitting here to sit here and hope and think like, oh, man, I hope she agreed to do at least a movie. They're doing three movies. Let's hope that's the case. But... Um, you know, what if she comes back and she thinks everyone's dead? So she thinks her, her kids are dead and everything. The place is just swarmed with walkers. And then she assumes everyone's gone and she just, you know, goes, like, just leaves because she thinks that they're all dead or something. I don't know. But uh, someone did point out that Judith is at Oceanside right now, isn't she? So I don't know. But by the end of the season, maybe she won't be anymore. Maybe she'll have gone back to Alexandria. But I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what they do with it. But Maybe, maybe the simple answer is, yeah, they kill her off by the end of the season. I, I don't know, man. Uh, wow, it's a tough one. Uh, Peter Francis following along with the Alicia comment series. <laughs> if you follow Alicia on social media, you'll find that she has a huge fan base. And many people have been following her before she was even in Fear of the Walking Dead. So, yes, I'm well aware. Um, and did you know, Peter, that episode... Uh, yeah, episode 10 is called Stalker. <laughs> so, uh, so if you want to stalk her, you can stalk her on Instagram account. So there it is. You can go check it out. Yes, I'm well aware of that. I know she's very talented and everything like that. Uh, can we at least keep the uh, obsessing over Alicia for when her show is actually on television? <laughs> like, you know, can we keep it to fear time? Now it's spilling over to Walking Dead time. It's like, you can keep it over here. Um, you know, do enough of this during the summertime. But uh, it's cool. It's all good. But yes, I know she has many avid crazy fan boys and, and fangirls uh, from 100 and before that and even before fear i'm sure she would have them anyway even if she wasn't in fear uh, she'd just be in some other series and still popular and everything and people would still love her and everything so that's just the way things go you know when you're incredibly talented and you look like that you're good it doesn't you know that, that's that, that's about all it takes really <laughs> torrid says trev uh, is it possible to do a live chat at a more reasonable hour 12 midnight on a sunday ah so this is the thing with live chats for you guys, the live streams. The deal is, is everybody's requesting different times. You know, pe some people are like, oh, that's too early. Do it after because I watch Walking Dead on, um, you know, in this time zone, a Pacific time zone. And then uh, because of that, you know, your live stream should be later. And then other people like you, Tori, you want to see it earlier. Then other people are like, oh, do it during like, you know, like do it. You know, I don't know. So we'll see for the live streams. I had a lot of fun with you guys on Sunday doing that other live stream, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so maybe, so I'll try another one this Sunday night and see how it goes. And then maybe if it's not, you know, received that well, I'll kind of switch back to doing regular videos. But if you're interested on Sunday night, um, you know, you can join us for this live stream coming up. We're going to do it around uh, 12 o'clock uh, Eastern time or maybe maybe 11 Eastern time once I get the review done and everything. Then we do it after that. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing at least one more and then uh, we'll kind of see from there how, how it goes. But it is a lot of fun to hang out with you guys and talk Walking Dead. So it's fun. Um, Ash Williams says they're starting to kill the whispers like they're walkers. Uh, so, yeah, continuing with that. And Giuseppe DeRosa says, Trav is the main Walking Dead YouTuber. <laughs> and uh, Cronus said, uh, Cronus 1997 said, Trav, never stop producing content. We all love you. So thank you, Cronus. And thank you, Giuseppe, and everything like that. Yeah, I'm not interested in, um, you know, in, in be, you know, again, I've always said, like, a Walking Dead YouTuber. Like, what is that? Like, that's not, you know, it's, it's not a thing. Because... You gotta understand, over the years, I've done a lot of different videos for a lot of different series. It's just that you guys wanted to see more Walking Dead all the time, so I just kept doing that, and, and that's just where things uh, led, and that's just where I went, because I love the series, so, um, you know, we just kind of continued with that, but, you know, it's, it's all good stuff, and basically, I'm just happy at this point to be able to do this with you guys. I think that is, after 11 years, that is a huge uh, thing to be thankful for, because 
A lot of things can happen in 11 years, and you're not always guaranteed to have an 11-year run at anything you do, whether it be a job or a hobby or any, like, you know, you're, you're never guaranteed that. And it's more than I think uh, I could have asked for. So thank you guys very much for that. And I uh, love you guys too, man. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. If you'd like to, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and subscribe at the bottom left. If you're new, a certain doom is Michonne doomed. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another. It's Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.